think it's just that it's a, like it's a natural material that grows that's yeah. alive and then you just carve away your shape into it or whatever you want to make from it stick bits together Workshop Wisdom is a series of conversations with fellow makers. We ask them to share their learning and insights about life from the time spent in their workshops. This week, we chat to our neighbour Billy from Made by Bill. Designer and maker of furniture and objects, all made from local native wood. <laughs> <laughs> a, well, make furniture um, and just try and use native wood um, local to the area, really. Um, so sort of celebrating slow and craft with design and art, I guess. Yeah. Nice. What is your favourite wood to use? Um, I really like ash. It's nice. It's quite under understated. I read somewhere that it's all going to be gone in 50 years, which, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Mm. Are you an early bird or a night owl? I wake up really early. I like to get in early and then sort of kind of end when I want then. And what is a day in the workshop like for you? Uh, I don't think there's any kind of uh, normal standard day particularly. Some days you're making Sometimes drawing, sometimes I'm just driving all day. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah, pretty varied. Mm -hmm. How do you find a good balance or a healthy balance between doing the part of the business that you love, so the make and the craft, mm. and the admin logistics side of things so emails accounts and all of that <laughs> uh not very well <laughs> um no i sort of reward myself with the stuff i like nice mm. amazing so try and get the stuff i don't like done first and then yeah the stuff i do like as a yay what are your favorite type of projects to work on um, I think my favourite bit would probably be the more self-led stuff rather than commissions. Um, yeah, it's sort of split, the business is kind of split into two kind of bits where there's sort of commission-based stuff and then there's a sort of collection that I have that I sell from and I guess my favourite bit would be to design and make mm. the stuff that I like, basically. Mm. Um, not that I don't like commissions. Tell us something that blows your mind about wood or woodwork. I think it's just that it's a, like it's a natural material that grows, that's yeah. alive. And then you just carve away your shape into it or whatever you want to make from it, stick bits together. And it sort of still moves even after you've done that, which is kind of mind blowing um, and really unpredictable and can sometimes, you know, be really hard to deal with um, and to try and understand it. But yeah. Would I you say all woods work so differently as well? Yeah, they all have different kind of um, properties and stuff that make them make it all kind of move in different ways and then even down to the way you cut it initially um, and like choosing parts for different things have to be like cut in a certain way so that you can sort of I don't know whether it's minimize the movement because you can't really stop it moving but just kind of to kind of accommodate the movement in it. Is there a project that you'd love to work on that you haven't yet? I'm going to make a sofa. Amazing. Um, wanted to for a couple of years. Still haven't got around to it. Probably will do in the next few months. Hopefully it's winter. Yeah, I need one for my house, basically. 
Where do you find your inspiration? Is it books, exhibitions, podcasts? Um, I guess kind of everything. Like anything around you, you sort of take in, don't you? Mm-hmm. I think, I don't, I'm not very good at looking at furniture designers, maybe. Um, I'd like to be better at that, but I think there's more kind of, it's more like structure in general that I'm kind of interested in, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think, yeah, and then just trying to make things work I quite like simplicity and things being everything kind of having a reason and it kind of gives beauty to that because it has the reason rather than kind of just for looking nice. Mm. Um, and that kind of is always derived from structure for me. Is there advice that you'd give to another maker? <laughs> <laughs> don't do it <laughs> um yeah i guess just make stuff yeah mm. nice i guess that is it isn't it just keep making yeah make what you want to make nice thanks bill <laughs> thank you